Tracy, Tracy from Almahera. Yeah. This is pretty much typical of what I've seen. It is very unlike the other one. Kind of a modeled pattern. Random banding, that sort of thing. Very nice though, good condition. So the one that we just looked at is from Galela from North Halmahera. Now we're gonna look at one from East Halmahera Timur. Right, Timur? Yeah, East Halmahera, it means the Halmahera Timur. Oh, okay, okay. Ruling the place. And you can see the pattern on this one is quite different. A lot less, less banding. So for all you Kandoya fanatics out there, now we have some Halmahera Kandoya here. They're all white phase, which I'm actually really surprised. I see a real pretty little one down there, but I'm gonna show you guys. Very Just jumpy, jump. yeah. <laughs> They're like little, little death adders. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I played that game many times. <laughs> <laughs> so this ground boa is from Ternate. I don't know if it's gonna bite me or not, but it's quite big, and I wanted to show that to you guys because. This is not Solomon Islands. We are we are in uh, North Maluku area. Yeah, it's gonna bite. But big, big size. Yes, I know. Southeast Maluku. Take a look, you guys. This is very, very different. So here we have some silver blue tongues. I've seen these before, I've received these before. Never received any tiny little babies like this, but so cute. Okay, you guys, so our business is finished with him. How far do you guys go for your reptiles? I'm telling you, some of us go really far. We're halfway around the planet on the edge of the world, it feels like. Yeah. We just met with like the main guy. I think we actually secured some animals. It's pretty amazing. It went really, really well. We are the first foreigners to ever come and visit him. So, pretty cool. Okay, you guys, we have made it to a small village called Soa Kanora. We are in Galela in North Halmahera. If you own a baby blue tongue skink, or if you've ever acquired a baby blue tongue skink, there is a huge possibility that it originated right here from Udar here. So, I'm gonna show you some baby blue tongue skinks, and I'm gonna show you some scrub pythons. The scrub pythons, I'll give you some locality information again, and it will match the locality information that I provided uh, yesterday or the day before. So let's take a look and start with the baby blue tongue skinks. Obviously, these are Halmahera blue tongue skinks because we are 
in Halmahera right now. So these are young babies. These are normal babies, normal colored babies. Cute as can be. I know most of you have seen them before. You've seen them on my channel. There's quite a few in here. These are all fresh babies. In fact, you can see some afterbirth there is still connected to this one. Now, in this other bucket here, we have some exanthics, what they call here silvers. So, here is your standard exanthic Palmahera Blue Tongue Skink. Now there is an amazing one in here. Unfortunately, it is weak, but it is lacking all the bands. And I have mentioned to Udar that I would be very interested in getting a heads up, getting some information on any of these that are born with any kind of aberrancies, albinos, melanistics. Uh, he, we did talk about melanistics. He said that he does see them occasionally, but they are very rare. He has found some in the wild, and he has also had some black babies, some melanistic babies born, but he doesn't have any here right this moment. So, baby blue tongue skates, you guys, it's just really wild that we are in ground zero, North Halmahera. This is where all this stuff originates from. So let's move over to the scrub pythons. I found this very, very interesting. These banded animals are also from North Halmahera. Now, the other day I showed you guys some from East Halmahera, and there are some other different locality animals. These all happen to be young ones, and I'm going to pull some out and give you guys a closer look. So I don't know how no, they're going to... Let me get... <laughs> okay, here. So... This is Tracier, Somalia Tracier, Halmahera scrub python. It's a young animal, a small animal. You don't get to see small animals very often, but this gentleman here, he has four. They're all around the same size. The other one in here is really amazing. It's a very light colored animal. Looks like freshly shed. Just amazing. Different temperament, I think. This one's acting kind of more typical of what I would expect. So as I travel around here and I talk to all these people, like I said, we're at ground zero. The animals in the hobby that I see the most, I believe are going to be North Halmahera locality. That's what these are. This is what I'm used to seeing in my shipments as well. So North Halmahera on these guys. So I asked where exactly is he finding these? Are they really close to here or, or whereabouts? He said when it's raining, like it's raining right now, tonight, they often come across these crossing the road. So if you could just imagine that, you guys, it just it trips me out. You know, in California where I'm at or in other states in the U.S., for example, you might find a king snake or a gopher snake or something like that crossing the road. Mr. Udar here is finding Halmahera scrub pythons crossing the road in his in his neighborhood. So that is just crazy. <laughs> so these are a little smaller coming to life. But same basic thing. Alright you guys, hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed that. We are really getting it done on this trip. I am super excited. I'm getting locality information, I'm sharing it with you guys. Pay attention to this stuff. This is not resellers in the US making up names, making up localities. This is a real deal. I'm talking to the absolute source. Oh, we have another one here. This one's a little bigger. Let's see how this goes.
so a bigger one just shed amazing condition So that's it for this, you guys. Thank you, Udar, so much. Terima kasi. Appreciate it. I'm learning straight from the source, you guys. This is absolutely incredible. I'm hoping you guys are learning from this. Sorry, the mosque is right next door. It was pouring rain. I don't know what kind of background noise we have in the video, but it is what it is. That's it, you guys. On to the next one. Thanks for watching. Yes. Bye! Bye.